the, the solar, there's 22 year long solar cycles of, of deadness and activity and deadness and activity. They, st they started in the early Renaissance. And they peaked out around World War II. And now that we're in cycle 24, the sun's going dead. And it's not creating an ionosphere. It's like the solar cycles are ending. So today the solar flux is 140 something. What's that ball it should be um, 200 and something. So the sun's only operating at half power right now for this part of the cycle. So you don't have the ionosphere that you need in order to communicate to other parts of the world. It's all dissipated. So ham radio's dying. Well, it made it so there was no ham radio available for a year during the minimum of the cycle. Now we're at the maximum, and the maximum is no better than a minimum. So now the question is, is when it goes into the minimum in the next seven years, how dead is the sun going to get? The last minimum, it got record dead. The solar flux never dropped below 60, ever. This time it went down to 58. And you couldn't communicate via the ionosphere. So the sun can be reconfiguring for a, a cold, dead cycle, like in the Dark Ages. There's a popular book written on the subject called Jupiter Effect. It's actually fairly accurate. The Jupiter Effect. Yeah, it was about the total planetary alignment in 1980 and the solar flares that it was predicted to create according to the RCA theory. And the solar flares happened just like they were predicted. Enough finally trip off Mount St. Helens. Solar flux went up to over 400. The Earth actually wobbled on its orbit from the coronal mass ejections hitting it. When was this? 1980. October 1980. Is that when you did the ceremony? It controls all the frequencies. So if you don't know what the sun's doing, you don't know what frequencies to use. That's why RCA started radio astrology. You have to know what the sun's doing, and the planets tell you what the sun's doing. So RCA gave me the equipment, Sonoma State provided me with the place to do it, and the cosmos provided me with the total planetary alignment. So I was the guy with the equipment and everything right there as the thing happened. I studied the whole event over the couple of years that the whole solar cycle built into this alignment. There's no inside structure. Is it hollow? Yeah, there's only a surface. There's nothing inside. Is the sun actually, do you believe, combusting in out? It's not burning anything. There's no fusion in the sun. That's well understood. Proven. Yeah, well, there's just not the way to prove that there is any. It's only in the flares that you get fusion. That's why all the x rays, the flares, the arcs, and the x rays, and the microwaves, and whatever result of fusion in the arcs. It's, there's no fusion in the sun. They don't know how the sun works. Why do you? What's special? How does the sun make light? It's a transformer. It transforms from some other dimension. It's not burning anything. It doesn't have to. It's a converter. Of what? I don't know. Nobody knows. But that's what it does. That's the only thing it can do because that's how everything works. It's transforming from another dimension. Yeah, you could say it's taking energy from another dimension, counter space. There, there's no energy, actually. You can't, most of it you can't even measure in outer space or see. Can't see. No, you can't see the sun in yeah. free space. So the sun is not visible in outer space. Not in free space. It's only invisible when gross matter becomes involved, like the Earth's atmosphere and envelope and the surface of the moon or whatever. That makes the light. Otherwise, there is no light. You can see the moon, you can see the Earth, but you can't see the sun or you can't see the stars. But you can see the planets and yeah. the satellites. Yeah, right. You can see material objects, but you cannot see the sources of light. There is no light until there's a material object. To reflect off. So that means there's no time delay. So the whole time delay thing is, is meaningless. It doesn't take light years. There are no light years, because there's no light. So that, does, that means that the light you see from the distant stars isn't four million years old. It could be only minutes old. It could be instantaneous. All the theories collapse when you can't see the stars in outer space. This is where you log the solar flares? 
Well, whatever's going on in the day, the solar flux, the atmospheric pressure, the cloud types, you know, any other uh, particular interesting information. But this, this is, these are the positions of the hurricanes. So this was E, whatever that one was. I don't bother with the names. Just, there's letters. These are the ones. These, this, these occurred off of uh, Baja. Baja. It was recently? Yeah, well, this was in July. So that stuff moves up here and starts the thunderstorms. Yeah. So, well, on. nuclear fission is a religion. It's a, it's a law. Yes. You know? The world must believe. That's all there is. Sure, the sun is an atomic bomb burning in the sky. If you don't believe that, you're going to go to jail. Okay, now, your theory on the sun, <laughs> I want to get. It's hollow. It's, so every planetary object is hollow, right? All hollow. Well, the sun's definitely hollow, because I studied the sun for four years straight. This is a question. And it's obviously hollow. Okay. And the solar, uh, the, the, the sunspots are holes that allow you to see inside. Really? Yeah. It's dark inside. The sun is well understood in, in, in radio physics and studying the atmosphere and sunspots and all that stuff that the sun does not operate by fusion. They do not know how the sun operates. The fusion only comes out of the arcs because of the current density. That's where the hydrogen effusion occurs, is in the actual arcs, arcs between the flares. The sun itself is not a fusion device. So, uh, the fusion is only in the effect of the It's flare. a converter, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sun is a converter from another dimensionality into this dimensionality, and obviously if you can't, if you can't see it in outer space, the conversion's not complete until it hits the Earth's atmosphere or other physical object, and then it finally converts to so electromagnetic light. When it hits the ozone layer, it does Well, something. the Earth's envelope. The Earth's envelope. Yeah, it's on the Earth's envelope is undefined. Undefined. Yeah. But you have to get in the Wilhelm Reich about that. Like we were talking about how you can't see the stars anymore. Yeah, yeah. So the sun, would you say it makes its quote-unquote energy some, through some electrical etheric process? Yeah, because of its voltage, so its position. Would you call it some kind of etheric lamp? A lantern? Yeah, it's like kind? a giant Tesla lamp. <laughs> you know, in the converter. The sun is a converter. Yeah. It's not burning anything. It's, so it's an etheric electrical yeah, converter. converter. And it's, it, it's converting from primary force to secondary force. And it, it, the conversion is complete once it hits the, uh, at, the upper atmosphere. The yeah, then, then once the, the emission interacts with physical matter, then it, it reverts to its reduced form the waste product, which is heat and light and mechanical activity. But it doesn't start off like that, and its origin is undefined because it comes from what people like to say, another dimension, Sunspot. counter space. Sunspots are holes in the Holes in the hollow sun. There's a photosphere that generates the light, and it's, it's contiguous. It's not contiguous. It's little things that move around. Contiguous? Yeah. It's, a, it's an arrangement of little glowing spots, and it's dark in between. It's a veil. And, and that's where the illumination of the sun originates, is in that veil. It doesn't come from the inside. There's no nuclear furnace in the middle. There's none of that yet, and that's understood. When I studied this stuff in Sonoma State, that's understood. But they have to continue this popular image that the sun is a nuclear bomb burning in the sky. Scarcity. <laughs> because that's everything's got to work on destruction. Exactly. Burning right. something. Yeah. Yeah. Like the caloric theory, that's another Yeah, thing whatever. It has to be the laws of thermodynamics. You have to pay. So it has to no be a meter. If you can't put a meter on it, it's not real. Do you have any respect for Newton at all? Just quick.